here on the stream. One more hour of Minecraft to go. Very good. Let's go back to the nether and let's see what else Papa Vera wanted us to do. So there it is. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Standing against the right side of the portal... And looking down the wall, right here. Line yourself up at the negative 209 position. Right here. Dig down eight steps to get to Y60. Did not work. Oh, it said I was at negative 108. Which way is negative 108? Not that way. Shit. Maybe I could just skip this. Uh, oh, excuse me. Watch me to get to 60. Take straight out, keep going past zero on the X position until the blocks over your head open up to a clearing. Make steps up and look to your left to dots and enters to a fortress. <clears throat> oh, shit! Fuck, I fell right in. Alright, I get it. I'm on fire. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Jesus Christ. Wow. Why, I'm trying to go to Y60, Papa Vera, but as you can see, it's not working out too well. Let me move further up. Okay. See, okay, now I'm at 60. Okay. Now dig straight ahead and try to get past zero. So a hundred. I have to go a hundred straight ahead. <clears throat> okay, the music is great. I love the music of this game. It's fun. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Papa Vera, if I'm not doing the right thing, please tell me. Why am I so low energy tonight? I'm just chilling, King, King of uh, Hypocrisy. I'm just chilling. By the way, I haven't seen King of Hypocrisy around a million years. I wonder where the hell he's been. But, uh, no, I'm just chilling, dude. I'm relaxing. I don't need to be super high energy every night, right? <clears throat> okay. I think I'm doing the right thing. I hope. I hear gassed. Apparently, we're going to see our very first nether fortress. I've never seen one. This thing is taking forever. My pickaxe is probably going to fucking break right... Right as I'm about to go where I need to go, my pickaxe is going to break. Watch. Oh, shit. Gravel? This is ash. Looks like ash. Oh, so is it called soul sand? Is that what it's called? Soul sand. Oh, I never knew that. It's a piggy. A piggy piggy. Oh, soul sand. 
wonder what, what the soul sand's all about. Is it made of actual souls? If so, that's fucked up. Well, we got a problem here. I did get to zero, but I'm not in an open area. Huh. He says, keep going past zero until it finally opens up. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, you can see faces in the soul sand? That's fucked. People were like, yeah, look at the sprite. There's faces in it. Oh my god, they're right. That's disgusting. I'm freaked out now. Dead people in this fucking sand. Oh, shit. Alright, hold on a second here. I gotta kill a fucking ghast. Yeah, that's a fortress. Where'd he go? Oh. That was a close one. Suck on that, bitch. One down. Shit. Oh my god, there's a million of these goddamn things here, man. Look at this. And I'm gonna run out of arrows. I didn't bring that many. There's so many of them. This is crazy. There's a fortress right there, right? What the fuck? Why are there so many? Alright, before I, I pop out here, let me read what else I'm supposed to be doing. Okay? <clears throat> okay. You can do this next part naked or bring some gear with you that's expendable. It's what I have on now. If it's not too crazy with being shot at with the steps you made to get above ground, build cobble around it and some steps to get up on the nether bricks. If you don't have any armor on you, needless to say, don't engage any mobs. If it's too chaotic, you can retreat and come back with some gear. With the portal now in place, it's easier to get what you need. Incredibly convenient fortress access will be much easier to access new materials and items. Okay. <clears throat> Might look a little strange. Don't mind glass and cobble. You just as well make this out of using nether racks as you can't make... You have so much of it at this point. If you want to do more, you can build these walls with a small entrance just large enough for yourself. Watch your surroundings. Look out for mobs that can spawn inside and around the fortress. You see someone have no gear? Retreat. If you have gear, you can block yourself off from them. Make two walls a few blocks apart. Make yourself a little room. This should keep you fairly safe from most mobs. You can use a small room as a house base for the fortress to hold items, smelt, and craft. I see what you're saying. You basically want me to build a little entrance way so it's a safe room. Kind of like in Resident Evil. There's a safe room, right? That's what you want me to do. Build a safe room. Jim Jammer. To the dollars, if you were put in charge of a WWE event, what would your big twist be? What would the big twist be? Um, hmm. The biggest, oops, the biggest twist. All right, I would have, I would have a night where every title changed hands. At the end of the night, they say, psych, it was all non-title matches. No one won those titles. <laughs> just to be a dick. Why not? That's what Vince does anyway. He just kicks you in the balls repeatedly, so why not just fuck over his audience completely? Ninstar Rune Chase in Java Edition. You can see the biome name along with a bunch of other stuff in Bedrock. You can only see the position. The in-game official biome for the Nether is, is literally hell. Hell biome. Well, Kurosawa Kid now did a hundred bit cheer and then did a meme. Great. Okay. I'm gonna assume this is the I fell. What the fuck? So this is the nether fort? How do I... Oh, there's the door. Is that the door right there? So I need to build, like, a staircase. What in the fuck am I looking at? What the fuck are those? Holy shit. I want these? I want to fight these. What the fuck? 
420 blaze it well, I'm gonna blaze it all right I got a rod or something. A blaze rod. Okay. Why does this sound so fucking creepy? Oh, God. What is in here? What is in here? PW Dubs, I don't remember who was a celebrity crush when I was a teenager. I don't fucking remember what I did yesterday. I don't remember my birthday. I don't remember my name. How can I remember what I thought as a teenager? All those insane thoughts and stupid things. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Whew, scared me, dude. Seriously scared me. What the fuck is all this? What is that? What is it? Oh, shit, there's another... Oh! Achievement! Into fire. We'll leave a blaze of its rod. I'm doing good so far. So you guys don't realize I'm a fucking I'm playing from software games. I'm playing fucking Neo 2, Dark Souls and shit. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this shit. So I got a bunch of blaze rods. Three so far. What is this? Here, have that. <laughs> Fuck that, have that. All right. Well, Beastbot did a $4.20 tip and says, what's cooler, the Buster Sword or the Gunblade? Please settle this debate between me and Snow Carl. Buster, Buster Sword or Gunblade? I think they're both stupid. Um, I'll say Buster Sword because I don't like anything about Final Fantasy VIII. Mr. Bubba you got a blaze rod. You can go back if you want. That was the objective I have for tonight. You can keep looking if you want. I keep reading the instructions on how to go around and block yourself off from the mobs. Nether wart, you can use that for brewing. I'm going to look around a little more. Put out the fire, baby. And here's a piggy. I'm going to investigate a little more. Oh, hello. They're okay. They don't aggro, right? Oh, that aggro's, though. What is that? A, some kind of a coal skeleton, right? I only have 37 arrows left. A skeleton made of coal. That was fucking weird. Okay. Oh, shit. Headshot, bitch. Don't let the skeleton touch you. Oh, yeah, what happens? You get all fucked. A wither skeleton. Oh, really? They're apparently really tough. Hello. Well, that's all that's here. Oh, wait a minute. There's a chest down there. See it? All right. I can't reach it from here. There's definitely a chest with some loot down there. See if I can get to it. A lot of people are cheering right now, but I'm a little uh, occupied. This is pretty exciting. It's something I've actually, in a year and a half of playing Minecraft, I've never been to a fortress. So this is pretty... Oh, my God. No, you're kidding. That's all the fortress? It's that fucking big? Look at the size of this fucking thing. Holy shit. It's huge. Oh my god. I thought the thing was like a small little thing. 
This thing is gigantic. Wow. Well, that is interesting. Yeah, look, I can go all the way down there. It continues. Hmm. All right, let me let me do some upgrade updating here. So, um, rock the ice juice. I saw watch your Neo stream of today. I noticed you don't really use transformation really at all during fights. Why is that? I keep forgetting. Neo two is so complex and the insane amount of things that are in it. I completely forget to do stuff. I forget to transform into the the yokai beast. I forget to use all my yokai abilities. I always forget something. So that's why it's really complex game, and I always forget shit. Uh, thank you for the cheer rock the ice. Steve Gunman, uh, to me dollar thirty says I flipped my car seven times. That doesn't sound very good. I hope you're all right. Um, thank you for the dollar tip. Uh, Ninstar Rune said grab the Nether War and take it to the real world. You can grow it there on Soul Sand. It's much more efficient to farm it in the overworld instead of making a trip to the Nether for farming. All right. Nether Ward. Cool. I'm running out of inventory space, though. All right, and Doodly... Oh, hold on a second. Uh, BW Dubs cheered. He said, what's your favorite gaming moment? Have you won any awards for being such a great FGC player? I don't have one, and no. Doodly Dread to me, $1.30. He said, I really hope you're doing swell and dandy tonight. Thank you, Doodly Dread. I appreciate that. Thank you for the dollar tip. I fucked up. Thank you for the dollar tip. Okay. So, I came in this way. Oh! Some iron ingots. Uh, it's not anything special. It's just more netherwort and iron ingots. I guess I'll grab the iron ingots for now. I'll probably end up dropping some generic shit like this. Five zillion. Here, you know what? The flowers in my inventory again. All that nether rack. The coal I'll, I'll hold. Yeah, I'll keep some of that. Okay. So we got to that chest. Now. What is on this side? Be careful here. Another chest. Anything here? Oh, I wasted an arrow by accident. What is this? Holy shit. Three different kinds of horse armor. And two gold ingots. Well, that's kind of cool. That is not a good place to be. I guess that's it. Three kinds of horse armor, including diamond horse armor. That's so random. Do I even have a horse anymore? I don't think I currently have one. I could go easily go tame one and get it, but I don't think I have one currently now. So I should uh, go through here. Oh man, oh man, what is down here? It's pretty exciting actually. Oh shit. Well, I got wither on me. I'm dead. Oh my god, multiple wither skeletons. I'm so fucked. I'm dead. What do I do? I can't heal myself, right? I'm fucked. Oh shit, okay. If I stand right here, I'm okay. I have to stand right here till I get my health back. That shit was close. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh my god. I'm just gonna wait for all my health to come back before I go back down there and fuck with anything. That was nuts. I know there's blazes behind me, but they can't see me, so I should be okay. <sighs> fuck. Withers do damage over time, and it could kill you. Well, yeah. I got him. Okay, damn. chest. More gold horse armor. A golden sword. Is 
This is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I need three wither skulls. I don't have any wither skulls. Papa Versus, I was also mentioning in the steps, use pieces of cobble to mark your way because you can get lost. Mark in tunnels that lead your way. I know where I am right now. I know where I am. I'm okay. But you're right. If I keep going, it's a labyrinthian way, then I'll, I'll do that. Right now, I'm okay. Shit. There's something in there. You heard it breathing? Got another blaze rod. There is something in there, man. This is a dead end. What is making this fucking noise over here? Oh, another blaze. Okay. Oh. I don't think this horse armor is going to be any use. I'm probably not going to pick it up. In fact, you know what? Put those away. Oh, shit. Wiped. Another blaze rod. This is good. I'm getting lots of stuff, guys. Yeah, this is trash. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to start heading back because it is starting to get labyrinthian at this point. I don't want to get stuck in here or lost. <clears throat> Oh my god, another diamond horse armor. I wish you could break these down and turn them into other items with diamond, right? But I don't think you can. No, it's actually dead end anyway. Okay, we're done here. Let's get out of here. Let's not take any more risks. This is a really, 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 really good run. We got a lot of good items. Nothing here. Okay, just checking. It was a different stairwell. I wanted to see where it went. Nothing there. Okay. We go back. We're getting out of here. We had good looting run. By the way, I see a lot of contributions of coming in, and I will give you shout-outs for those in a moment. I just need to get to safety. I'm very nervous right now. Okay. Let's go back to the, the real world. Let's get the fuck out of hell. All right. And then let's do a bunch of shout outs. We'll update the leaderboard. And then we will see where we are at. Okay. This has been a very, very, very productive Minecraft stream. This is the first time I ever did this kind of stuff in the nether. All right. Uh, I finally got to do the things that I needed to do for quite a long time. Alright, let's do this. Good shit. So all you guys who wanted me to do the nether for so long, you just, you got what you wanted tonight. And I hopefully that was satisfactory, because that was pretty exciting. I'll, I'll be admit it. Oh shit. I'll admit that was pretty exciting. Alright. Let's go to town and sleep. And then we could do shout outs and stuff. Okay. Awesome. What an adventure. Very nice stuff tonight. Very good stuff. It's got another egg from that chicken. Okay. We're safe and sound on the ground. No nether to be found. It is now time to say thank you to a bunch of people who have just contributed. Okay. Bugs Bunny, T. 
to me two dollars saying, "Can I admit to being immature during Final Fantasy VII? Is there really something wrong with a guy dressing up to deceive his enemies?" Um, I would legit want to know. Is there something wrong with wearing a disguise to fool your enemies? No. Is there something wrong with having an entire segment of the game dedicated to cross-dressing and acting like it's a hilariously funny thing that someone's in an awkward position and having a disgusting, lecherous man who's a gross pig and crime lord be fooled into thinking that this guy who obviously never cross-dressed before immediately is duped into thinking that he's a woman and he's lusting over him in a disgusting fucking way? It's just really uncomfortable. It's not funny. It's that really stupid, cringeworthy 1990s humor. <clears throat> That in modern days, it's just not funny. I didn't think it was funny in 1997. I don't think it's funny now. So, was I being a bit immature? No, I was being mature. I was being the opposite. I was being mature to the point like, I didn't like this segment. I wanted to move on, and we have now, so it's all good. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Kurosawa Kit tipped $10 and says, Thanks for shouting out Maria earlier in the week. Can you shout out my older brother, Dean? Sure. Shout out to Dean. Ninstar Rune Chases, don't worry about Wither Skulls. They're a rare drop from Wither Skeletons. Okay. Building a three-headed golem with three skulls and a T of Soul Sand summons a super boss, the Wither. It's worth killing, but don't even bother with it for now. So basically, I, I found a fortress. If I keep going back to that Nether Fortress, I keep fighting those Withers until they drop in Wither Skulls, and then you're saying I could build a super boss enemy? That's interesting. I've never seen a Wither before. Beast bought to me ten dollars, and I think it'd be fun to see you play Final Fantasy VIII to see if your opinion has changed all over the years. And you know what? Final Fantasy VIII Remastered came out recently, so would I ever consider playing it? Probably yes. Papa Bear cheered. He says, "You're not doing bad. Pretty good. You got some good loot. On your way out, get more soul sand to plant the Nether War on." Actually, I have thirty pieces. That's more than enough, I think. Yeah, because I only have twenty-six. That's more than enough. So good stuff. Chipe to me four dollars twenty cents. Thank you, Chipe, for the tip. And Mr. Papa Vera cheered again. He said, skip to the last two pictures so you can craft something that should be very helpful. I shall. But, but, before that, okay, uh, before that, let's update. We have 22, 20, $26 more in tips, which means we are up to $88 in tips so far tonight, guys. Thank you guys very much. We are almost at the tips call. Alone Light, to me, $4.95. He says, hi, once again. Glad to see you playing Minecraft. If you'd like me to make you a skin to add some personality to your Minecraft experience, I hope everything's going great. Um, First of all, Alone Light, thank you for the tip, and sorry for the disgusting belch that just came out of me unexpectedly. I don't know how that would work. I don't think that you can import skins into the Bedrock version. I could be completely wrong, but to my knowledge, I don't think you could, because some people had asked me before, um, would you like to have skins. I was like, I think that would be cool. And then everyone told me I can't do it. So unless I'm wrong, please guys let me know. All right. So that was, that was another $5 tip. So that means we're up to $93 in tips tonight, guys. We're getting there. Seven more dollars to go to hit the tips goal. So thank you all for your support. <clears throat> okay. What was Beeper Pop Papa Bear telling us to do here? If you came back up to another fourth adventure, I managed to come back with a blaze rod. Congratulations. Next, you can turn the blaze rod into blaze powder and use that powder with eight obsidian to make your first ender chest. It's basically like a backpack. You can put stuff in it, pick it up with silk touch, and your stuff will stay inside of it. Oh, shit, really? You can also place multiple ender chests all across your world and even across dimensions, and you'll have access to the same inventory in the chest. Even if you destroy your one and only ender chest by not using silk touch or throwing in lava with stuff inside... Your inventory is still safe and you can get in with another ender chest. Anyhow, when you cross the portal, you'll be just outside your village and the village will be behind you. If you says, he says, if you combine blaze powder with an ender pearl, then use that with eight obsidian, it'll make an ender chest. So Papa Bear had suggested to put a fence around the portal. I already actually built an enclosure, so I'm good in that regard. Okay? Alright, so... I think we should do the ender chest. I think that may... Oh, Kurosawa Kid just tipped $8. Says vest time. Yeah, guys. It's time. Here we go. <clears throat> it is time. Ladies and gentlemen. 42 straight vest streaks. All right. By the way, I told you guys earlier today. Uh, I think we may have someone who's working on something special as a celebratory event if we hit 50 straight vest streaks. 
I don't know if it's going to happen. I have to confirm that later this week. But, um, yeah, thank you. Let's get the vest on. <laughs> All right. Very good. Beast Bod to me, $4.20. says, I think you should have a timer for how long is left on your stream. I was asking a bunch of times. No one answered. I was worried we missed the stream. Uh, I can answer right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right now, we've got about 20 minutes left on the stream, give or take. You know, it, it's it's not a set thing. It could be a few minutes more, a few minutes less, depending. But right now, um, yeah, we got about maybe 20 minutes left on the stream, Beast Bod. Thank you for the tip. Vinny Kitty resubscribed for three months and says, subbed for the best. Thank you, Vinny Kitty, for resubbing. For the best. I appreciate that. Okay. Very nice. Ninstar Root here. He says, since you have extra blaze rods, you should build a brewing stand too while you're at it. Blaze rods double as a very efficient fuel source, but since they take a bit of effort to get, I devise against it, at least for now, especially since they're better used in brewing. All right. So, let's see. So, first of all, how many blaze rods do I even have? Five blaze rods. It's a pretty good haul, huh? We also got like, odds and ends, like some crazy-ass shit. Like, look at all this. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll put a lot of this away. Let's go clear out my inventory. And then what I'll do, I think I might want to try to uh, make an ender chest, which would be pretty neat. Um, right? Definitely what I should do, I should put one ender chest here and one ender chest over at the other settlement. So that way if I'm between the two, I can just grab the chest. Oh, you have the same shared inventory. I should essentially always have my really important things in there, like my silk touch pick, my diamond sword. I should always have the, the, the essentials in the ender chest, <clears throat> right? Okay. All right, um, I have 10 obsidian on me. Remember, I have lots more obsidian back at the other place. I guess I can now get rid of all this shit, right? So soul sand, I definitely want. I'm going to use that with the nether ward. Well, there's another rack I can now unload. Dude, I have so much. This is crazy. I have way too much shit. I, my inventory is just overflowing at this point. D-Train 12 to the 200 bit choices. Can we have a mod election at 50 vest streak? No, we cannot have a mod election. I'm sorry. It's not how it works. <clears throat> Instar Room says, yes, that was they're good for. There's a different type of box in the post game that's pretty much a second inventory or the opposite of an ender chest. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. All right, what's I doing? I'm confused. <laughs> Completely confused. So, I think what I want to do... I don't know what I want to do. I'm confused now. Alone Light now cheers to congrats on your vest streak. I wonder if it symbolizes or if it means... What it symbolizes or means when you wear it. Really nothing. It's just me saying thanks. <clears throat> for, God, for everyone being so supportive, you know? Because uh, it really is an awesome thing that people are so supportive of me. And 42 straight streams to hit the vest or the tip skull is insane, right? Papa Vera Charity said, use a blaze rod on an anvil. You should be able to rename it just for fun. It says 420, name it, name it either spliff or blaze it. Keep it if you want or put it in a frame. Huh? You could rename a blaze rod? Really? That sounds weird to me. What is going on here?
There you go. I named it 420 Blaze It. So let this Blaze Rod commemorate today, 420 2020, the day when we conquered the Nether. We went across the Nether, we built a path, right? We found another fortress, we conquered the fortress for the first time ever. We will commemorate it with this 420 Blaze It Rod on 420 Blaze It Day. How cool is that? A Blaze Rod, 420 Blaze It Rod. All right, well, you're right. We should make a frame. Of course, I don't know how the fuck to do that. And I don't have the ingredients to do it either. <laughs> how do you do that? Anyone know? How do you make a frame? Oh, shit. I got to sleep. Uh, all right, let me go sleep while I wait for someone to tell me how to make a frame. Hmm. Huh. One leather and eight sticks. Okay. Different people are saying different things. So I'm supposed to make a brewing stand, and someone else is saying make an ender chest. I should make an ender chest here, but I can't because I don't have an ender pearl here. I have one ender pearl. I have one, well, I have two ender pearls, but they're both at the other place. So I have to travel over there first. So leather and eight sticks. Leather. Do I have any sticks anywhere? Probably not. I have 18. Nice. There we go. Where should I hang it? What do you guys think? Where should I hang the 420 Blaze It Rod? Should I hang it here in the village? Should I hang it over at my original settlement? I don't know where to put it. Uh, PWW shares, if you had to thank one person for your streaming success, who would it be? It's not, it's not that at all. It's not about one person. It's not about just me being here. It's not just about you guys watching. It's about everyone together. You know, it's not one person. It's it's a group effort. It always has been, right? Let's uh, Let's go back to the original settlement. That's where the ender pearls are, and that's what I want to do. I want to make ender chests. Okay, this is a good session for sure. So next time around, we're gonna probably start working on one of our next projects, which is going to be the Greek or Roman architecture project. Okay. A concerned eagle took me a dollar thirty. I don't understand. You glorify weed, but you don't smoke it. So people would think you're a poser. You don't just because you're being silly and you're you're celebrating something because people you know celebrated today doesn't mean that I'm a poser. I told you guys I don't really care about the culture. It's fine if you if you like that culture, it's okay with me. If you don't, that's also okay with me. I'm okay to I'm okay with it. I live in a in a state where weed is legal and there's tons of people who are smoking weed. So I'm not going to be biased against it. That doesn't mean I need to like it. Right? That would be like saying, I'm straight edge, but I hate anyone who drinks or smokes. Because I'm straight edge and you should be too. That's so conceited and stupid. You know? My belief is everything in moderation. You know what I mean? So hey, if you're responsible with what you do, with your weed or your drinks or whatever you do, that's fine with me. I don't give a shit. Who am I to judge you? Right? So yeah, I can joke about it and say 420 blaze it and make jokes because... You know, I'm open-minded. <clears throat> okay. Papa Vera, it must have taken you a lot of time to figure this out, didn't it? You probably had to mess around with different portals in the nether and see where it would take you and stuff, right? So I, I really thank Papa Vera for doing this shortcut. This is amazing. Look at this fucking thing. This is now a minute. One minute to do what used to take like 40 minutes. Oh, I finished my water. God damn it. Finished my goddamn water. And now I'm not afraid of the nether anymore. 
because we've mastered it. We mastered the nether. So I'm not afraid of it at all anymore. There you go. Bob first, it took him a few days to find a room. A few days of messing around. That's crazy, man. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's our ender, ender pearl. We have tons of obsidian, so we can definitely do two nether chests. Right, nether chests. Ender chests. So how did you do it? Let's check this. Combine blaze powder with an ender pearl and use that with eight obsidian. But, hold on. Turn a blaze rod into blaze powder? How do you do that? How do you turn a blaze rod into blaze powder? PW Dubs cheered. He said, have you noticed if Kat has been more stressed at work since the pandemic? Yes, she has been. Absolutely. Everyone is. Everyone who's still working right now, okay, um, is stressed. Like right now, Kat works at one of the few stores that's still open. So the store is, I'm not kidding, full of customers. And you're like, wait a minute. It's the pandemic. People aren't supposed to be going out, right? They don't care. The store is full of fucking customers every night. People, you know, shopping casually for clothes. And, you know, you should also say people stealing. During this time, a lot of people are out stealing shit. Figure that one out, right? They're risking their own personal health and the health of others to go steal stuff. But it's true. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. She's, there's been increased stress for sure. So, blaze powder. I made it. But I forgot the ender pearl. You get the ender pearl from Ender Man, right? I don't remember. Eye of Ender? Is that what I'm doing? Eye of Ender? Don't turn all the rods to powder. I'm not intending to, Mr. Papa Fair. I want to make at least one ender chest, if not two. But I'm not going to use all the rods on that. Um. So I'm making this Eye of Ender. Yes. Okay, I did it. Make Now I make the minecart. No. Uh, how do you make it? End oh, I don't have the obsidian on me. I put it away. Whoa. That looks cool. Ender chest. All right. I made an ender chest. That's a cool item, dude. That looks neat. Uh, Bugs Bunny to me seven dollars. So thanks for the answer. I mean, you seem to be exaggerating during the segment, like the heavy size and face palm. I guess you're just really uncomfortable around that type of humor. Because I don't find it funny. You know what I mean? Like, any time you watch something that's intending to be funny, but you don't find it funny, it's uncomfortable. It actually feels like I feel uncomfortable. When I'm watching something that, oh, this is hilarious. Like, oh, it's not hilarious. It's just really forced and bad and contrived. And there are people out there. Like I said, during that segment, at the end of the segment, I tried to clarify my thoughts. I was like, you have to understand something, right? In this world, there are people who are, who are right now having issues with their gender. They were born one gender, but they feel like they should be another. Like in, deeply inside of them, their person is telling them, no, I'm not a man, I'm a woman. Or I'm not a woman, I'm a man. Okay? I... Don't understand that because that's never been my situation, but I understand it. it's legit and it's something that people deal with on a daily basis, right? Why do we have to make fun of it? Oh, this guy now has to dress like a girl and this guy's lusting all over him. It's like, it's not, that's not funny to me. It's just not. It's like, it's really like lowbrow, really cheap, oh, dumb people will like this kind of humor. And that's why I don't like that. I, you know, I hated that. I definitely hated uh, that segment of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, thank you for the $7 tip, Bugs Bunny. Delancius has resubscribed for 15 months. Thank you, Delancius, for a 15-month resub. I appreciate that. All right, so, first of all, I got an ender chest. I've got the 420 Blazit Rod. You know what? Uh, 
Should I hang it somewhere in here? I don't know where to... What do you guys think? All right. Bubba Virus is awesome. Remember, if you don't want to break the chest, use Silk Touch. At the same time, if you don't care about the chest, you can break it without Silk Touch. You'll get the Obsidian back, but not the Eye of Ender. Well, that would be a big loss, so I definitely would use Silk Touch. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're basically going to adjourn here tonight, guys. I know my inventory is a, a disgusting mess. One of the things we'll try to do next time is clean this up. But the last thing I want to do tonight is figure out... <clears throat> Where do I hang this thing? Okay? What do you guys think? Well, Alone Light says, I'm proud of you for speaking for people who have no voice. Wear that vest in pride, brother. I'm certainly not intended to do that, but I'm just speaking my mind. Chris Sabakid, she said, do you think weed is a gateway drug? I have no idea. I did, I did, I smoked weed a few times and it didn't lead me to any other drugs, but that's my personal experience. I don't know. Min Star Room Cheers said, build a brewing stand at least. I could do that next time. I don't want to start messing with new stuff now. Guys, we're about to adjourn the stream literally within like five minutes, not even. So instead of going crazy here with new stuff, save it for next week. Next week, we'll do a brewing stand. We'll Whatever else we can do with this this new blaze rods and the blaze sand or whatever it's called, we can do that next week. And then we could start our, our working on our build of the Greek or Roman architecture, okay? <clears throat> okay. Fair enough. All right. So where should I put it? Should I put it right here next to my other two frames? Fuck it. That's pretty cool. It's this 420 Blaze it on it, right? So yeah, that commemorates our April 20th, 2020 session of Minecraft. Pretty neat. That's pretty neat, admittedly. I like that, that we have something to commemorate our going to the nether and actually handling it for the very first time. All right. Uh, very cool. Excuse me. Oh, I can't stop burping now. It's a blunt. Maybe it is. It's a giant blunt. Look, it's a giant blunt on the wall. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this week's Minecraft stream. Oh, hold on. Um... Here we go. Someone else insulting me saying that cross-dressing and, and, and transgenderism aren't the same. I know that. And it's pretty stupid because they're handling it like a joke. I don't think it's a joke. So I have the right to say that. If you don't agree with me, that's fine too. But I'm not going to talk about it all night or waste my time trying to get into arguments with people who are just trying to bait me. So, yeah. Okay. So that is it, guys. Thank you for a great Minecraft session. Again, thank you, Mr. Baba Vera, for setting up this amazing shortcut and letting us get to a nether fortress right away and getting the stuff that we've needed. People have told me to do that for the year that I've been playing. And we finally did it tonight. That is excellent. So thank you. Um, All right. That is going to be it, folks, for Minecraft for this week. Like I said, next week, we'll mess a little bit around with these blaze rods and things that we've got now that we have them. And we'll... Definitely clean up this goddamn inventory. Maybe what we'll do is we'll use the soul sand and the nether wart. Figure out where we can plant that. And uh, and then we'll probably work start working on the next project, which is either the Greek or Roman architecture or whatever, and go from there. Thank you for the support. You know, us kidding. The goal again tonight, 42 straight streams is insane. Now, wait a minute. <clears throat> Today is 420, and it's the 42nd Vest Street. How is that? How is that even possible? That we How did we line this up perfectly? It's 420. It's the 42nd Vest Streak. Wow. <clears throat> it was meant to be. It was absolutely meant to be, I guess. All right. Nin Star Room says, as you know, the next obvious step is to head to the end. You open a big bag of worms. I mean, yeah, but I don't think we want to do that yet. I know that the Ender Dragon is in the end and all of that. I've seen the Ender Dragon before, if you remember. Um... But I think we just want to continue on with our normal weekly stuff. Remember what I said? Oh, I should say this as well. Um, coming up in the month of May, I am planning to do some main gameplay streams of Minecraft. What I need to do is I need to wrap up a few of the games that I'm currently playing. Right now I'm playing two games. I'm starting another one on Friday. But once we either finish up Final Fantasy VII or Neo 2, <clears throat> what I'm going to begin to do 
is on Mondays, at least probably once that happens, do maybe two, three major streams of Minecraft so we can make like big advancements. We can finally clean up the inventory system and my chest system and revamp stuff there. Continue on with the projects like this architecture or this, there's a statue. It's supposed to be a statue of me and a vest coming up that we're supposed to build, okay? So there's a lot coming up that we don't really have a chance to get to because I'm only playing this once a week, right? What about that mob grinder that's been on hold forever? And maybe we can do something with her, maybe not. I don't know, you see what I mean? Like, if we played this more, I'd have more opportunity for it. But I've been so busy with all the new releases, there hasn't been time for that. So I think what I'm going to try to do is hopefully in the month of May, um, hopefully in the month of May, we'll have an opportunity, a bigger opportunity, um, to have more Minecraft on the streams. Because I know you guys like how relaxing this is. We have advancement. We have fun. We have interaction. I like it too. And it does sadden me a little bit that we only play it once a week. And then we really don't make that much progress half the time. Right? So, we shall see. Probably we'll have main Minecraft streams at least once a week coming up sometime in May. Once we finish up one of the major games I'm playing right now. Okay? Thank you guys for an awesome stream. We had a ton of fun tonight. Got a lot done. Thank you again everyone and who contributed. Thanks to everyone who just hung out. Thank you to Mr. Papavera. And... That is it. Let's save to make sure we don't fuck up and not save. Because that would be horrendously bad if I did not save the game, huh? <clears throat> Very nice. Saved, right? Yep, we're good. Very nice. Thank you, thank you guys.